Hey the Wootsuit family, it's Ryan here. So I was marking some papers today, and no matter how many times I go through marking these same assignments semester over semester, it always gives me something to think about. Something that the students say or something in the question just gets my mind going. For this assignment, my students were asked to reflect on a priest who himself personally is an atheist, but he continues to minister for his flock because he thinks that there's something valuable in it, that it gives his flock something to believe in and, and a sense of comfort in there. And so inherent in this question is, what kind of person do you want to be? Now this question of what kind of person do I want to be is not a new one for this channel. I would say that it was a thread that ran all the way through the four years that Jim and I did the podcast and it's been popping in and out over the last two and a half years in this vlog. And sometimes when I catch myself thinking this question, I get a little discouraged because, you know, I think, ah, you know what, I'm in my 30s by now, I should really have a firm sense of who I am and, and what kind of person I want to be. But when I catch myself thinking these thoughts that, you know, I should have it all figured out, I have to gently remind myself that, no, thinking about the kind of person you want to be is actually a really, really good thing. It's something that should be evolving over time and it should be adapting based on the kind of experiences you're having in life. I'm not the same person that I was when I was a child. I'm not the same person when I was a teenager in my 20s and I'm in my 30s now but I suspect in five to ten years time I'm not going to be the same person again. And so my concept of you know what do I want to be or who do I want to be? What kind of person do I want to be? is something that I should be evaluating periodically as my life changes, as I change jobs. And I should be asking myself, you know, what kind of partner do I want to be for my wife? What kind of employee do I want to be for my work? What kind of mentor or mentee do I want to be to another person? And that's not something that I can prepare for. And I don't think that these are the kinds of questions that I can have a definitive answer now, even though these possibilities are long time in the future. And the other thing about this question that I always have to remind myself is the person that you want to be is in some sense up to you. Now I'm not saying there aren't pressures or systems that are put into place that pigeonhole you into some things. But what I am saying is that you do have some freedom, or at least I feel like I have some freedom to be able to choose what kind of person I want to be. And these aren't defaults that are foisted upon me. You know, if I stop and end up saying, you know, like, this is just who I am. If, if I use that as, a, as an excuse, well, that's not true because I can adapt and grow and change all the time. And these aren't defaults that are set for me. These are things that I'm going to have to choose for myself. And so as I close this off, Jim, if you're watching, you might want to cover your ears because I'm about to go all virtue ethics on this. But this little mini meditation has me thinking about Aristotle, that we are what we continuously do. And so sometimes, and in the future, if I happen to be thinking these thoughts, hopefully I'll come back to this video so that past me can remind myself that in order to grow into the kind of person that I want to be, it's going to be full of hard work and it has to be intentional and you have to think through it. You can't just stop and wait and hope that you're going to go the way you think you're going to go. I mean, that is, after all, how you stay awesome. Thank <laughs> you.